Good morning, ninjas. Good morning. It's a sad Sunday that we're having to work, but uh, what can you just say? You know, two days off on Granny's couch. I'm, I'm kind of, aren't you ready? Are you ready? Sad Seth? Sunday. No, no, no. See, you're still on the clock, so it's a happy Sunday. Uh, but I thought Sundays are sad Sundays. They are normally. In the summertime, so sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a good cool day like today? You ready to go? It is a cool day. Uh, had a good two days off? Oh yeah, very yeah. relaxing. Good, good. So we're in this new subdivision, guys. Um, it's still getting built. I mean, there's like literally so many houses. But I am the only lawn care company uh, in the neighborhood that I've seen. So I'm hoping as these houses continue to finish up, we might pick up some more clients here and they're all like cookie cutter boxes and homes, so um, yards, so to say. So uh, super easy. But anyway, we're here. You guys have seen this one, I think once before to do the air rating. Really small front yard here. And then the back is where there's really no grass at all. And we're gonna start all over. <clears throat> See what I mean? This is all new development ninjas, so it's a lot of these yards are like this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna aerate. A bunch of dogs inside. We're gonna aerate, we're gonna seed, and uh, put down straw. And straw is really good, especially, really period, but especially when you've got a uh, backyard or front yard, or whatever, that like has no grass like that and it's like starting all over because um, it helps with the cold, the frost. It also helps with birds not picking up the seed and it keeps things warm down in the holes once you aerate. It's just a really, straw is really good for grass growth. So, but here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this front. I'm not gonna record in the front because it's so small, I'll be done in no time, but I might set up a camera in the back, we'll see. But there's Sass. And we'll do it till about right there, and then we'll head to the back. So we'll see you back there. Sassafras. This goes against every army movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Why? They always say blood makes the grass grow. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a pretty good business model you got here, though. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Spend all spring and summer cutting it. And then spend all winter and fall replanting it. And then... Sp That's smooth. Yeah, and then spring, summer again cutting it. That's not bad. It's just a non-stop thing, right? Like working for Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst things you can do and I know sometimes guys, it's like no way to avoid it. It's really hard. Is to try to like get on the driveways or the walkways when you're aerating because the tires are gonna get mud on them. So like, if you look, I, there's no way for me to avoid it. I had to like, there's a little patch over there on the side. So I had to like go that way, cross the uh, walkway. But instead of coming through the driveway, I went around and I made a little mess right here, you know, coming into the front yard. And then when I was leaving, so, Sometimes you just can't help it, but definitely avoid the bigger areas, okay? Because that's the areas that are going to be super noticeable. And I mean, I'm sure people would not appreciate it because a lot of this stuff will blow off, but you're not going to be like able to get rid of it completely. I mean, you'll be able to blow off some of these chunks, but so just keep that in mind when you're aer aerating in general uh, to one, blow off always behind you um, when you're done with everything. But two, try to avoid the bigger opening areas of the driveway, the walkway, because uh, you want to try to make as little mess as possible. All right, Sass, so what are some of the techniques of spreading straw well, in the back? I prefer to shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt yeah, shaker? The whole thing moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
there you have it ninjas as you can see everything is covered so everything is seated aerated and uh we went ahead and did a decent amount of straw i kept telling sassy definitely don't what you don't want to do is put too much in one spot where it's too thick but you definitely want to cover the whole area <clears throat> So that's what we did. He's just touching up with a little straw that's left in the front. We're gonna blow everything off. The patio, the walkway, the driveway, and we're out of here. So, all right, we'll see you at the next one. He's uh, mowing his own yard in what? Shorts. Them basketball shorts. Basketball shorts. You're supposed to play basketball with them. They ain't no good to be out here mowing. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's crazy is now that we've talked about that, like it stands out even more than it ever has before because we're not talking about khaki shorts now. No. No, just these basketball shorts that you put them on when you're just lounging around the house on a Sunday and you just wake up and you just want to lounge around the whole ground granny's couch all day you know the worst part of those they don't breathe yeah so, like everything stinks when you take them out. <laughs> <It's just cool. laughs> Man, just out there walking sweating <laughs> <laughs> besides khaki shorts ninjas if you're just wondering my opinion wear jeans <laughs> <laughs> you see a fat guy in a hoodie, you don't need shorts on anyway, you get pneumonia. <laughs> Doing a bunch of seating and aerating on a Sunday since this rain messed everything up for a Friday and Saturday. So I had you in mind and I wanted to check and see if that's something you'd be interested in again this fall. Um, what was that? I didn't hear you. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and get it scheduled. And it's, I think. We did the aerating, the seeding, the fertilizing, and the liming, the whole shebang for 400 bucks. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Janet. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. And that's how you make $400 in about an hour of work. the seeding every fall and spring yep so I wanted to see if uh, yeah if we wanted to do that again mm hmm same as before right just the front and the sides nothing in the back and we would mow it like we did before yeah just mow it to you know get it cleaned up a little bit with all the leaves and stuff and mulched and so with the mowing, aerating, seeding, fertilizing, and liming, it would be the same as uh, last time, 600 bucks. Yep. Great, okay, awesome, I'll get a schedule. I don't think I'll make it there today, but uh, probably middle of this next week, if not into the weekend, but I can communicate with you as we get closer. Awesome. Hey, Daryl, thank you, I appreciate it. Not a problem, thank you, bye-bye. There you have it, ninjas. Okay? So you heard me get the $400 job, and now I got another $600 job. And like I told you, that's uh, out an hour worth of work per each one. So there's two hours worth of work for $1,000. Okay? 
it can be done and you can do it too this is another one done i didn't record of course here i'm not going to record it every single one that we do guys otherwise this video is going to be crazy long it already is here's your nature mini with sassy i'm so glad you brought that let me tell you how to make use of money okay you need to find yourself an edible nest swiftly okay what is that edible nest swiftlets make their nest from their own saliva after it hardens uh-huh the nest itself is a delicacy so if you can find them they're very very expensive how expensive are we talking mm -hmm. roughly upwards of a thousand dollars a nest really oh yeah where, so could, where never, would you find one? Oh, usually china places like okay. that but every now and then you get lucky okay so all i'm saying is out there somewhere some sick man that wants to eat some bird saliva thing Ugh. yeah you need to find that and get it to him he needs it Ugh. but why are they so expensive because they're rare or? yeah they're just a rare delicacy they're hard to come by so it's a bird mm -hmm. it's a bird's saliva yeah just i mean you know yeah but he's gonna eat that so it's okay mm, yeah i know well thank you sass what's the bird called uh, a swiftlet a swiftlet yeah a swiftlet ninjas is a bird that creates with a nest with saliva i'm kind of recapping and uh nest is super expensive mm -hmm. why is it expensive why is it so beneficial Could because it? like good looking weed eater guys they're hard to find <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you sass no problem all right well there you have it there's your nature minute with sassy and tomorrow is ninjas you know what time it is it's the fresh week new week we're gonna kick tail get all the yards done and uh it's gonna be oh it's also payday of course is it mm, is it i forgot mm. i asked your hand down today uh <laughs> i don't want it freezing up <laughs> okay hope you enjoyed today's video i just wanted to get the nature minute with sassy out the way and let him say goodbye but i'll talk to you ninjas here very shortly so sass we'll see you tomorrow pump monday Bye. so basically ninjas what i was trying to say to you earlier and to conclude this video since we are done for today is you can make a lot of money in aerations just in itself uh, i always said like if aerating was a year-round thing i probably wouldn't be mowing i'd probably just mow maybe on the side i would do nothing but aerating because it's so beneficial and uh you can really make a lot of money okay so for example this video first and foremost is not about how much money i can make or how much money i've made by all means so some of the numbers i might have shared and some of the things i might uh share with you even right now has nothing really to do with me. I'm sharing it to kind of put you in a perspective of how much money you can make, okay? Not me. Because the money I make, whatever it is that I make, how much I made, whatever, can't. it's not really impacting you in any shape, form, or way um, in your business, right? It, it gives you maybe an idea of what you could be making. And so that's really where I'm going with this. So it's more or less of how much I can make or how much I made. The point of this is how much you can make. And you could do the same thing. You shouldn't be making less than a thousand dollars a day in aerating. That means line them up. If you got three, four, two, five, two, two or more would be preferable. But if you if you got more than four or five, you should be making no less than a thousand dollars a day. You can easily make that. Anybody can do it. Anybody. And then, of course, you're not going to profit that, but you're going to profit just below that after you pay your rental fee, after you pay somebody who's helping you, whether it's an employee or a friend or whatever, or if you were just by yourself, then more more money for you. Okay, so, but if you own an aerator, of course, you, you know, either you pay it straight out, you buy it straight out, or you make payments on it, whatever it is, then you got to deduct that and keep that in consideration as well. So, my point is you can make some money, ninjas. Come on now. Got to go, ninjas. Mama's making some Mm, some bomb spicy homemade chili for dinner I'm looking forward to that I'm gonna upload this get ready for pump Monday and we're gonna have a good week knock out some yards and continue on with our aerations also got a couple of shrubbery jobs lined up it's gonna be a good day and I mean a good week so guys thanks for watching take care and as always